You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for our Black and White Sports, and we got one of the craziest freaking situations I have ever seen on a basketball court or any other sporting event. We've got Michigan coach Jawan Howard, yes, former NBA player, pretty damn good NBA player, and member of the Fab Five, that famous all-freshman Michigan basketball team from back in the day, Chris Weber. I mean, wow. We got him actually taking a swing at the Wisconsin head coach, and in turn, we have like a brawl, a brawl almost breaks out here. Just, just the craziest thing you've ever seen in your life. Let's just get to this real fast. Michigan versus Wisconsin head coach Jawan Howard kicks off a brawl, takes an open swipe. Howard has an explanation for why things escalated the way they did, telling the media, this is TMZ, the fault lies with Greg Gard putting his hands on him first. And we're going to take a look at this, guys. During a post-game press conference, J.H. said he was expressing his frustration to Gard about a late-game timeout he'd taken, at which point Gard started to touch him in a way that Howard felt was unnecessary. Sounds like he's claiming self-defense, but the fact is, he took the swipe well after Gard was removed from the situation. Many suspect a suspension against Howard is forthcoming. All right, let's look at this right here. Right here. Well, Howard grabbed him by the grabbed him by the shirt. Wow. This is crazy. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, and we got a full-on melee. Holy shit. Oh, my God. We got a brawl going. Let's look at it one more time. Oh, what? There is another angle of this I'm going to show, by the way. All right, let's go down here. Let's go down here. Here's a closer look at what we got. This is Jeff Goodman. Whoa! Nah, it was an it was an open hand throw, but still, there is no way he's going after Joe Krabahoff. All right, all right. Let's see what else he's got to say. Jawan Howard got physical with another coach after his team's bitter loss in a basketball game, kicking. Uh, kick-starting an ugly fight. The University of Michigan's men's basketball head coach got into it Sunday while shaking the hands with the opposing team, the Washington Badgers, who beat Juwan's Wolverines 77-63 in a hard-fought game. Uh, while uh, University of Washington's head coach Greg Gard approached J.H. in the lineup, he appeared to get snubbed by the latter, which made him start to get in Juwan's face. As the two of them began yapping back and forth, soon... It became clear this was going beyond words as other coaches and players had to rush between them to break up, break up a head face-off. Juwan wasn't done, though. In apparent effort to reach guard, he took what looked to be an open-hand swing at one of the Wisconsin assistant coaches and made contact. It was all caught on camera. All right, this is one more, one more look at this. Wow, that's crazy as hell. That sparked more fighting between the players and an all-out brawl ensued. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to have got too out of hand. It didn't get too out of hand, and the chaos was eventually tapered after tapered down after everyone was separated from one another. Okay, here we go. Oh my God! Look at this. Oh, we got a brouhaha going. Wow. Wow. All right. It looks like they got everybody separated. No word on exactly what made Juwan react the way he had or what sort of punishment came. This is kind of TMZ always lays these out backwards. So he's saying that Greg Gard put his hands on him first. I don't know that that, that necessarily 
I mean, there is Jawan Howard. <sighs> Jawan, Jawan Howard. He puts his finger in the dude's face. Come on, man. You don't do that to another grown man. And here we go. Uh, there's a finger right there. Man, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Under no circumstances, you guys know, I'm a University of Michigan fan, but under no circumstances can another coach take a swing at another coach or anybody else. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. Number one, you're supposed to be the example for the kids that you're coaching. All right? So I don't know what was said. Um, I mean, Jawan Howard didn't say anything about this taking on any kind of um, – beyond line like racial issues or anything like that that was said but Jawan Howard has got to control his temper better than that on the court there's no excuse look at the fallout from that that it, those two entire teams just start brawling just start brawling in fact let me go back to that real fast because um one of these camera angles yeah, right here, right here. We've got we got the look at them. They're all fighting. The two teams are just. It turns into all out war right here. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, it just turns into all out war between the teams. I mean, you expect that. You know, you expect that uh, both teams are going to have their coaches' backs. I mean, you 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 do expect that, but Jawan Howard cannot. He cannot throw any kind of a punch. Open-handed, close-handed, nothing like that at another coach. You can't do that. It's on national TV. Not a chance you can do this. Wow, that's nuts, man. Malice in the Palace, too, anybody. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Nuts. Absolutely insane. Peace, I'm out. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.